projectile motion is defined as an object having an initial velocity and then being subject to the acceleration due to gravity only. Because projectile motion involves so many variables, such as time, and then position, velocity, and acceleration in two dimensions, it is important to be able to visualize it. In this tutorial, I will show you several of the options for the online simulator projectile motion from phet.colorado.edu. For the purposes of this tutorial, you will only need to use the introductory simulator. You will have a source of the projectile at a certain initial elevation. options for setting initial velocity and for fun try to hit the target. You will also have the height of an adult human for scale. You can start the projectile by pressing this red button. You can erase previous paths using the yellow button. You can reset the whole simulation using the button in the corner. To get the most out of your learning, it is recommended that you set the simulation to slow and you have the time range and height tool readily available. As long as you don't turn on air resistance, the object that you use does not matter. You will be able to verify this. You may also want to put the target to the side as to not serve as a distraction. As you fire the projectile, the simulation will calculate its path that you can check with the time range height tool.
as long as you don't erase the previous path, you can compare the dependencies of paths by pressing the fire button again. Notice that for paths that have peaks, the simulation calculates maximum height for you, designated by the green dot. The simulation can display velocity vector at any time for you. This should be always along the projectile path. It can also display the components of the velocity vector for you. Remember that in theory, only the vertical component of velocity should change. The horizontal component should be constant. If not convinced, you do have a virtual tape measure to verify, although remember that the units are for length here, whereas for velocity, they should be meters per second. You should also experiment with the acceleration vector.
Remember that in projectile motion, the only force acting is gravity. Hence, no matter the setup, the acceleration due to gravity should always be pointing downwards. and have a constant value of 9.8 meters per second squared. Unfortunately, the simulator only calculates things forward and always starts with a height at or greater than ground level. It will not be able to simulate backwards calculations. However, remember that forward or backwards, the path should be the same, so you can still pretend to run the movie backwards to figure out such scenarios. If you wish to experiment with air resistance, and why your professor may insist that you blaming your data errors on it are not justified, try to convince yourself with various objects.